Hi everyone. I don't know if you can see me or not, but if not, you're going to hear my voice in half of my face or something fun like that, because I'm out here by myself. I'm outside on the other side of the house from where the garden is, and I wanted to show you some more of the work that we've been doing out here with our gardening. Okay, here is... I'll back up and see... One little fenced-in area that we made on this side of the house because the sun is full here and a lot of the plants that we put in the back are not getting enough sun. So I'm assuming I'm going to have to change some things up and bring some of those plants and transplant them out here, including some more tomato plants because they need to get more sun. Um, right here in the very front, I started some more cucumbers a couple of days ago and they're up already uh, because the ones in the back the rabbits ate them so there's those right here in this one is some hot peppers that I just planted that um, yesterday evening this front row right here are all peppers um, as you can see right down here we have some growing and these ones are starting to flower and green peppers down there that's a yellow cherry tomato plant that is a um, cantaloupe plant these right here are eggplant that right there is broccoli and then a couple of cauliflower plants and then some cabbages down there on the end. I'll go around here and see if I can see things in my head's going to be in there. Some cabbage. This is red leaf lettuce that I think I'm going to move to the back because it seems to be getting too much sun. Those are um, some green beans right there that's an asparagus plant I'm trying that I've never grown it before but there's zucchini and squash and that's what I have back there so far these right here are some flowers that I planted some marigolds that are gonna go around in the back um, some go in the garden and then I'm going to put some in the front of the house um, and also some sweet pea plants that I'm going to flowers that I'm going to put out but I just planted those today so they're out here sitting in the sun and that's that and then that's the fence that goes to the inside of our yard okay I'll go show you the back in a minute Okay, this is a pine bush that we have beside the house that we've just started trimming on in order to try to shape it up some. Things around here are so overgrown, as you can see. We have a lot of work to do. I can't do too much of the time. And then there are these pretty plants that are back in here. Um, they're those. If anybody knows what those are people plant them in weird spots so I'm going to try to rescue some from back there there's my uh, peace lily starting to get back to life again uh, it got a little bit frosted one night when it was cold and then that's our front that can see here they are somebody planted them all the way underneath there I'm going to pull them and Hopefully transplant them out farther. Um, like I said, now this is the front of the house that faces the street. and There's all this ugliness um, that um, we're working on. It's going to be coming out here and putting some flowers. And uh, we just trimmed all this huge stuff back. And then that's the other tree in our very front and those are our steps that go down to the street only person that really ever uses those is the mailman um, my car 
Um, then I'll take you around. This is the other side of the house. And we have some of this growing. And if any of you plant people know what any of this stuff is called, send me a message or leave a comment and tell me. We have this growing along here. I got a weed and get some of that stuff out of there. And this is where our hose. That's the entryway for the upstairs neighbors. And then around here I have this again. And you can see we've been weeding a lot. That's a whole big trash bin full of stuff. And then up here I planted a couple of these and they're growing now. I'm going to weed, see all this stuff needs to be weeded out. We need more cedar chips put in there. And then that's our gate. And there's our van that's back working again. And then I'll take you in here and show you the changes from the, video, the first video that I just put up. Here's the side plant where I um, showed you. I put in some other flowers. There were some on these other ones down here. I think these are tiger lilies um, that were yellow. You can see them up there in my window, maybe. That we had a storm and some rain here the other night, and it broke them off. So I took them to the house. And then along here, I've got some four o'clocks that are starting to come up and grow. They're a little late this year. The weather's not been the best. These little plants here I got on sale at a clearance at one of the greenhouses. There were three of them. They were 50 cents each. And I got them. Um, I know what they are because they have a little tag with them. Let's see, I don't know, I can't see those so good. And then here is a little rose bush that will do better next year. It's just uh, not going to do too much this year. And then there are the cut down Easter flowers. And then down here farther you will see I have also some more of these that I planted around here that the rabbits silly rabbits got to some of them. And then this is another flowers that I planted that are growing. And then here is, I'm going to go in and I'll show you what's happened with our garden. We fenced this in a little bit. Um, there's some lettuce, head lettuce, iceberg head lettuce that the rabbits got to. And I don't know if it's going to do so well. And some couple cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, red, ca purple cabbage, and uh, regular cabbage that are growing back here. And these are just, as you can see right there, the rabbits. So we put the fence up. We'll see what happens with this lettuce. Most of the garden didn't do so well. Those are some, let me see if I can zoom in some zucchini that are making it along there. You can see there are a few of them. Um, most of this did not grow. But here are some nice big tall, let me zoom back out, tomato plants that I'm thinking of possibly transplanting them to the front. Um, they seem to be doing okay, but I've got some little tomatoes growing on some of them. This one has a bigger one. You can see it right there. And I've got a bunch of little ones down there that we got put in late. Okay. Now, just recently, so they're not even up yet, uh -huh. but along here... 
I put in some corn. We're hoping that it'll come up. And then from there down are some more radishes because the ones that I planted in here didn't grow. So we're gonna see about that. This is ornamental corn and it is growing. And then as you can see, my potato plants are doing well. Back there, we have also some more tomatoes that a lady from Freecycle started too many tomato plants and gave me some. So I brought them home, put them back there. Right back there where you see those sticks in the ground in the corner is supposed to be where my strawberries were. They weren't going to be strawberries this year anyway, so the rabbits ate them. Um, all along here, I'm not sure if anything is going to grow, but right here I have some carrots that are starting to come up. We move the potato plants away. Here's a better patch of them. Um, so that they got some more sun. And over here in the shade, we have, that is a pumpkin. And some little ones growing here. These are watermelon. You can see the little sign. I just put a few of them in over here on this hilly spot. So we'll see what goes on with a little bit of things that are growing back here. It's kind of a big disappointment this year because this ground hasn't been worked in so long. But I'm hoping to save a few things, and once things start growing some more and we get some more sun, I'll be able to uh, weed out the weeds and the branches from that monstrous tree up there that keeps going out. This mess right here is an area that we are in the process of cleaning out all the stuff that the people who used to live here threw in there all the sticks and rubbish and my landlord is bringing back the trailer and we're going to finish loading the rest of this load up on there and get this all cleaned out and then I don't know I'm thinking of maybe making a small compost area there to help with the garden for next year there is my air fern that is out here doing very well in the weather we got a little plant growing there. And then show you back here along the very back. This area has a bunch of junk leaves and stuff that's going to get cleaned up. I'm still in the process of chopping up and trying to get the neighbors vining what the heck ever that is onto their own side. This is another rose plant that is small, 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 but it will grow. It's peach colored. Along here are some irises that I replanted from someone on FreeCycle also, but they had already flowered, so they're now cut down, ready to grow back next year. Then right in here I have a couple of tiger plants, tiger lilies or whatever, that are cut down. I can't remember what this stuff is called. Um, but she gave me a couple of these to start. And they, they're doing really well. They come back every year also. I had planted some flowers in here that did not grow. Down here is another little tiny rose bush of mine. And uh, this is not honeysuckle. I said honeysuckle before. This is lilac. And it's bloomed already once this year. But it looks like we're going to get some more. Got some little things. There's our empty bird feeder because we've stopped putting seeds in it. And we can't afford to buy any right now. And the squirrels ate them all the time. I'm not sure what this is. If it's flowers or weeds, I think it's something from that tree. But I've just been letting it grow to see if it happens to turn into flowers. There's a few of them that popped up here and there. And then down here are the bigger rose bushes that I just started this year. But they are getting some uh, 
roots sticking out of them, so that lets me know they'll grow again next year. Here's another small rose bush. And here's the other big rose bush that I put in. As you can see, it's doing pretty well. And then here is my butterfly bush, which is growing rather nicely. None of the sunflowers that I planted along here grew, and all of this junk we're still working on cleaning up. And last but not least, I'll take you around to here and show you. These are primrose. There are three of them. That one still has flowers, and that one down there doesn't. And then, along here, I planted my 4th of July flowers. They're red, white, and blue. They're actually purple, but they're called blue something. And they're growing along the front of the deck. We're eventually going to plastic this off with that black stuff. But... Like I said, this is the first year that anything's been done around here, and I'm really trying to get it into shape for next year. Um, there were some tulips in there, but they never flowered. They just grew up and died. Um, so this stuff doesn't grow back next year. I don't believe any of it does. They were just some... Uh, flowers that I got from people from FreeCycle and also, you know, the 25 cent clearance bin of the plants that the nurseries half killed and I bring them home and try to get them back to life. And this is my spider plant that's doing rather well outside this summer. My mother-in-law gave me this as a starter and it's doing rather well. This plant here which I also can't remember what it's called, is doing rather well. It had gotten some frostbite, and I've been babying it, and we have a shoot off of it that I put in the house, and it's growing. I'll go in and show you that. I want to show you the uh, other yellow, I believe tiger lilies, on the inside. There's our messy, dirty table from me uh, transplanting, doing soil, planting seeds. As you can see, there's still two things of marigold seeds there that I need to uh, plant. And here are the other flowers that got broke off outside. They're sitting on the window seal above my kitchen sink. Okay. I don't know if you can see me, but that's it for now. The update on the garden, and I'll show you more as more things grow. I love you guys. Bye-bye.